Hi everybody, welcome back to Armour 3 and I wanted to do a quick video about uh, Squad AI controls. Just my little take on it. There's some amazing videos out there and I'll put a link to a really good one in the description below this video. But I just wanted to show you how I kind of learnt them. Um, now first off though, there's a couple of things you want to do is make sure you go to the tutorials and do the VR training and do the VR training about squad controls and squad ordering um, because it kind of explained the basics. Um, and also the other thing you want to do is if you go into the root directory for your Armour 3 installation on your computer, so not like C, Program Files, XA6, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Armour 3, you'll find the Armour 3 keyboard layout. Um, and this is the document you get. And you can print this out and you could laminate it or you could turn it into this nice little handy triangle. And it's a quick reference for the commands, especially for the squad commands, because it can get very confusing and it stops you having to go into the uh, key bindings to check them out. So I think the best way to learn ordering your squad about is by actually doing it, but doing it in a safe environment, which is inside the editor. So fire up the editor, go somewhere like Stratus. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put together a nice little fire team. Um, we're on the, um, on the uh, airfield here. So let's go over here and let's put in an officer. So that's moi, and then we'll have a a medic, we'll have a anti-tank man, and we'll have a auto rifleman, and then we'll have a, a heavy gunner. There we go. So we'll have, uh, we'll have five of us, and then we can go in and we can just play as the character. There we go. So I'm the officer, and these fellas are in my squad. Now, to order your fellas around, there's a there's, there's numerous ways of doing it, but it kind of revolves around two keys on your keyboard. The first one is the one that's underneath the escape key to the left of the number one. So I think on American keyboards, it's the tilde key. On British keyboards, on English keyboards, it's it's the back quote key. All right, and when you press that, what it does, it selects all of your squad. If you look in the bottom left-hand screen, you see there's me, I'm Scale, and we've got Brown, Reed, Thomas Campbell. If I press that button, We'll select all of the squad and you'll see then we get some orders that appear and we can scroll up and down and we can choose certain orders so that's the easiest way to kind of select everybody and get them moving quickly um, because wherever you're pointing your um, sight at see where the little v is on the screen that's where we can move our squad so we do we can move around and we can just press in on your mouse wheel click and off they all go well done team so again if I press the uh, back quote key again we can say regroup Fall back. And, and they'll all come running back towards me like so now you can actually control your individual soldiers they've all got numbers next to them uh, with the F keys so uh, if we choose F2 we're now just controlling soldier 2 so now we can just uh, point somewhere say over here click in the uh, mouse wheel Move right. And there he goes, number two, one's over there. And then we could say F2 again, and we can say... Two, return to formation. Welcome. And he's going to come back. Now, we're a squad, so as we are, as I am moving, these fellas will move with me. Um, and they, they'll take up a formation. So that's kind of basic moving around. Now, the next most important key is the um, backspace key. Uh, top right hand corner of your screen uh, uh, keyboard above the enter and what this does this brings up the advanced menu of commands when you actually go into the um, training in the VR training it kind of just tells you to press numbers and it's hard to remember them but if you just remember the fact that if you want to do more advanced command you just press backspace and this kind of starts the process and now it can be controlled by um, numbers on a keyboard but the first thing you want to do is as soon as you bring up the, the men, menu that gives you all your commands, you want to select the soldiers that you want to command. Now, most of the time, this is going to be all of your squad. So again, we press that back quote key, the one that's underneath the escape key, and to the left of one. So we've selected all of our soldiers. If you look at the bottom of the screen, they're all kind of in that orangey-brown colour. And now what we can do is we can use the mouse wheel to go up and down, or we could press the um, number of the command we want to give. Now, there's quite a few of these, so the best way to do this is to simply practice running around with your soldiers. So let's do 
um, a sort of a nice basic one. So if we if we press seven, we can go to combat mode. All right. So this is where we can say actually, actually, fellas, um, let's go to stealth. All right. So we would press um, backspace to bring up the command. Press the uh, the back quote key to select everybody. Press seven to go to the combat mode, and press the number one to go to stealth. So they're like, okay, right, we're gonna be <laughs> we're gonna be quiet. And the, remember, the AI in armor that they're, they're not amazing, but you can have a lot of fun with them. Here they come. So we're all gonna be nice and quiet, and they're gonna kind of follow me. So we could do something like that. So again, we can press the backspace key to bring up the advanced menu. Press the back quote key, the one underneath the escape key, left of one. And now we could say combat mode. So we press seven, and we could say actually, let's just be let's three. So let's be, just be aware that something might be happening. So they'll change their stance. See how they change their stance, and they get up and they start start following me. Okay. So the other cool things you could do. So let's bring up the um, advanced uh, command key with backspace. Select all of them, and then we could say seven combat mode, and we could say, okay, everybody, I want you to do stay crouched with seven. And there we go. And they're all going to be crouched, so they're going to be nice and stealthy. And then we could say, bring up the uh, advanced command, press the back quote key or the tilde key, and then we could say seven, and we could say um, eight, go prone. There we go, and they'll all lie down. So now what we can do is advanced menu, tilde key or the back quote key, and we can say seven, combat mode, number six. On your feet. Everybody get up, come on, right. So you're kind of getting the feel of this. Now, you can do all of this with just the numbers once you remember the numbers. You don't need to press the backspace key. You can just press like uh, F F2 and then go um, seven, and then go eight. Two, hit the dirt. So we've just commanded one soldier to do that. But it's very difficult to remember all these numbers, I think. Um, in fact, what you'll find is if you watch, watch lots of videos, what really people who play armor a lot do when they're playing it sort of single player like this is they actually use voice commands because it's easier to use those. So what we can do now is we can say, um, bring up the advanced menu, select everybody, command mode, Stand up. There we go. So everybody stand up. So let's look at some more advanced moving options now. So what we do, so a really cool one is if you press the backspace key to bring up advanced. And then what we do, we're just going to select one of our soldiers. So let's select F2. And what we're going to do, we're going to say number one for movement. And we're going to say number four, flank left. There we go. So he's going to leg it off over there. And then let's say this guy, so F3. So we're going to bring, bring up the advanced menu, press F3 to select that soldier. We're going to press 1 for movement, and we're going to press number 5 flank right. to flank right. Oh, oh, oh sorry. I, I, sorry, number uh, 2. I've given you two jobs, haven't I? Okay, so let's choose this guy. So advanced menu, F4 move flank left, flank left. Okay, let's go. right so he's going to go off and flank left number four and then we're going to take number three so advanced menu f3 number one five three. to flank right. flank right there he goes and then let's take our heavy gunner so advanced menu with backspace we're going to do uh, F5 to bring up to control our heavy gunner and then we're going to say number one and we're going to say advance. advance I saw this in another video <laughs> so now our squad has kind of changed formation where we've got this guy far on the right this guy far on the left this guy up ahead and so as we're moving forward they will maintain these positions with my uh, combat medic just following them behind and then we could say backspace um, select everybody and then we could say number one to move and we could say number one Fall back. return to formation and then they'll all regroup on me um, a really useful one is the, is the formation that your soldiers are running in 
So what you could do is you could do uh, backspace to bring up advanced, um, the back quote key to select everybody, and then we can say um, move, oop, sorry, backspace key, tilde key, number one, move, and we could say um, find cover. So if we press seven, Take cover. they will then find some cover. Now they're not very clever, so actually they're, yeah, they're not going to find any cover, so tell them. Follow me, chaps. Let's go this way. Let's go backspace, select everybody, number one, turn to formation. Understood. And then we'll do backspace, select everybody, and we're going to do number, what should we do? Number eight, formation. Let's do a column with number Four one. Column. And then as you move off, they'll kind of get in a bit. Of, it's not a strict column, as you can see. It's kind of kind of like that but they're less spread out than they are in the V. Right, so if we leg it over to here towards where these sandbags are, we'll get them to look for cover. So we're over here, so now if we do backspace to bring up the advanced menu, um, tilde or back quote key to select everybody. We're going to go number seven, combat mode. Oh, no, we're not. We're going to go <laughs> number one, uh, number seven, find cover. Right. Come on, boys. Over here. Take cover. Okay, let's get them to regroup. So backspace, select everybody. Number one. Fall back. Return to formation. Yep, come on then. Come on, boys. You can do it. Dum, 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 dum. Right, okay. So they're getting pretty close to the cover now. So they should be able to... So we go backspace. Select everybody. And then we want to do... Number seven. Sorry. Number one. Number seven to find cover. Here we go. Right, finally. Okay, so they're going to go up, up against some cover. As you can see, they're not that clever. So there we go. So that's basic moving them around. And then you want to do backspace, one, uh, sorry, backspace, um, back quote, number one, and then number one again, return to formation. And then we're going to be moving around as a squad. And all you need to do is just spend, you know, half an hour, 45 minutes now, just running around with your squad, giving them simple uh, orders and you'll quickly kind of get the idea of it you probably won't remember the numbers as I find it really tricky to remember the numbers but if you just remember backspace to bring up the advanced mo uh, movement menu press the back quote key to select everybody and then just use your numbers you know one, one or two or three or four and you can just explore what all those different things do now I just want to show you one more thing so we're going to return to the Eden editor and what we'll do is we will um, spawn in a enemy car, shall we? We don't want anything that will kill us. How about a little... So we put that over there. Oh, also we'll spawn in a helicopter, one of ours. But we'll do it as empty. Let's put that there. Okay. Play from here. Okay, so one of the things you can do with your squad is if you select them all. Okay. <laughs> They're already firing at the. So if you, if you select them all, you the uh, menu will come up on the top left thing right. As you can see, it's contextual. So it knows that there's a ghost hawk helicopter. So you can give them the. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you give them the option to get in the helicopter. Um, now, what you saw there was my guys doing what they do best, which is engaging the enemy, and they will automatically engage enemy units, unless you tell them not to. So if you want to tell them not to, you press backspace, select them all, and then when we would do, uh, say, you could do seven combat mode, you could do safe or stealth, or probably, you would probably do something like number five status... What would we do? We, sorry, we'd do number three, engage, and we'd say number 
to hold fire and that way they wouldn't engage. Um, now the other thing you can do as well is you can delegate targets beyond automatic targets because they will just engage automatically. And what you can do is if you press um, backspace to bring up the, auto the uh, full menu, select all of them and press 2 for target um, and then press 0 for more targets, it'll tell you all of the targets that you're aware of in, in the area around. So we've blown up that um, enemy jeep over there but we have got the ghost hawk so if there was a number of targets you could de delegate them there but remember we could also delegate them by a, by a soldier as well so we could say uh, F2 this is your target F3 this is your target and you could go through and do that so there we go hopefully that's giving you some good pointers to start learning about movement um, in armor 3 when it comes to squads I think this is so much fun just running around spawning in some AI and then when you're actually playing some of the single player or multiplayer scenarios the um, where you've got friendly AI you'll have a bit a bit better idea of maybe not how to do it automatically you know just pressing the key bindings all the time but you'll know okay so I know I've, I've got to press backspace to bring up the advanced menu I need to press the back quote key to select everybody or F2, F3, F1 to play them and then either I can use my mouse wheel to go up and down or I can press the numbers and you kind of you might be hunting and pecking through the menus but it will at least get you know start getting you using them right so hopefully this video has been useful if it has been hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe of course i'll see you again soon